In a move that could reshape the entire computing landscape, NVIDIA has quietly been developing what industry insiders are calling the most ambitious quantum AI convergence project in history. While everyone focused on their AI dominance, Jensen Huang has been placing a $50 billion bet on quantum-enhanced artificial intelligence that can make today's most powerful AI systems look like pocket calculators. This isn't just another chip announcement. This is NVIDIA's play to control the next generation of computing itself. The announcement came through a series of strategic partnerships and research initiatives that most people missed. But when you connect the dots, the picture becomes clear. NVIDIA isn't just supporting quantum computing. They're building the infrastructure to merge quantum processing with AI acceleration in ways that could create computational capabilities we've never seen before. Jensen Huang himself said at GTC 2025, Quantum computing will augment AI supercomputers to tackle some of the world's most important problems, from drug discovery to materials science. Here's what NVIDIA has been building while everyone was distracted by ChatGPT and AI chatbots. Their CUDA Q platform isn't just quantum software. It's a complete ecosystem designed to integrate quantum processors with GPU acceleration. The latest CUDA Q 0.12 release, announced in August 2025, introduces simulation tools that can model quantum systems with unprecedented accuracy, essentially creating a bridge between classical AI and quantum computing. Here's where it gets really interesting. NVIDIA announced in May 2025 that they're powering the world's largest quantum research supercomputer through their partnership with Japan's ABCIQ system. This isn't just providing GPUs for quantum research. They're creating hybrid quantum classical systems that can process quantum algorithms while simultaneously running AI workloads. The strategic implications become clear when you look at NVIDIA's partnerships. They're not just working with one quantum company. They've created an entire ecosystem. Quantum Circuits Inc. partnered with NVIDIA and Supermicro in May 2025 to accelerate quantum HPC research. At Supercomputing 2024, NVIDIA announced multiple projects with quantum partners that are driving the entire quantum ecosystem forward. Jensen Huang's strategy is becoming clear. NVIDIA doesn't make quantum computers, but we dedicate ourselves to creating accelerated computing stacks to enable quantum computers, he said in April 2025. This isn't about competing with IBM or Google in quantum hardware. It's about controlling the software and acceleration layer that makes quantum computing practical. What makes NVIDIA's approach revolutionary is how they're solving quantum computing's biggest problem, error correction and noise. Traditional quantum computers are incredibly fragile, but NVIDIA's approach uses GPU acceleration to run error correction algorithms in real time, essentially creating a quantum classical hybrid that's more stable than pure quantum systems. Their CUDA Q platform can simulate quantum systems with up to 40 qubits on a single GPU, but when you scale this across their DGX systems, you can simulate quantum circuits that would be impossible to run on actual quantum hardware. This creates a development environment where quantum algorithms can be perfected before being deployed on real quantum processors. The real breakthrough? NVIDIA is using AI to optimize quantum circuits themselves. Their machine learning algorithms can analyze quantum gate sequences and automatically optimize them for better performance and lower error rates. This means that as AI gets better, quantum computing gets better, creating a positive feedback loop that could accelerate quantum development exponentially. The numbers are staggering. NVIDIA's quantum simulation capabilities have improved by 1,000 times in just the past two years, 
and they're projecting another 100-time improvement by 2026. Jensen Huang recently changed his tune about quantum computing timelines, saying, quantum is near an inflection point, after previously being skeptical about near-term applications. The market implications are massive. NVIDIA's stock has gained over 200% in 2025, and quantum computing represents their next growth frontier after AI. But this move is forcing every major tech company to reconsider their quantum strategies. Google and IBM have been focused on building better quantum processors, but NVIDIA is building the ecosystem that makes quantum processors useful. Microsoft, which has been pursuing topological qubits, announced increased investment in quantum classical hybrid systems just months after NVIDIA's quantum initiatives became public. Amazon's Bracket Quantum Cloud service is now offering NVIDIA GPU acceleration for quantum workloads. Even Apple, which rarely comments on quantum computing, has been quietly hiring quantum software engineers. The enterprise market is where this gets really interesting. While pure quantum computers are still experimental, NVIDIA's quantum-enhanced AI systems are already being used for practical applications. Financial institutions are using quantum-inspired algorithms running on NVIDIA's GPUs for portfolio optimization. Pharmaceutical companies are using quantum simulation for drug discovery. Material science companies are using quantum chemistry simulations for new material development. Here's why this is a $50 billion gamble. NVIDIA is betting that the future of computing isn't pure quantum or pure classical, but a hybrid approach where quantum processors handle specific types of calculations, while GPUs handle everything else. If they're right, they'll control the software layer for the next generation of computing. If they're wrong, they'll have invested billions in technology that doesn't deliver practical value. The early signs suggest they're onto something big. The Global Research and Development Center for Business by Quantum AI Technology, GQuat, powered by NVIDIA Systems, opened in 2025 and is already producing breakthrough results in quantum algorithm development and quantum classical hybrid computing. The competitive dynamics are fascinating. While Google and IBM fight over who has the best quantum processor, NVIDIA is building the infrastructure that both companies will need to make their quantum computers useful. It's like the early days of personal computing when Intel didn't make computers, but made the processors that powered all computers. Jensen Huang's vision is becoming clear. AI and robotics will start doing more and more of what humans can do, and better, he said in September 2025. But quantum-enhanced AI could do things that neither humans nor classical AI can do, opening up entirely new categories of problems that can be solved. So what happens next? Based on NVIDIA's roadmap and recent developments, we can expect several major announcements in 2026. First, a new generation of GPUs specifically designed for quantum classical hybrid computing. Second, partnerships with major cloud providers to offer quantum-enhanced AI services. Third, enterprise applications that demonstrate clear quantum advantage for specific use cases. The timeline for practical quantum AI systems is accelerating faster than anyone expected. While Jensen Huang previously said useful quantum computers were more than a decade away, his recent statements suggest that timeline has compressed significantly. The inflection point he mentioned could arrive as early as 2027 to 2028. NVIDIA's quantum AI gamble represents one of the most ambitious bets in technology history. By building the software and acceleration infrastructure for quantum computing, they're positioning themselves to control the next generation of computing just as they've dominated AI acceleration. Whether this $50 billion investment pays off will determine not just NVIDIA's future, but the entire trajectory of quantum computing development. 
The real question isn't whether quantum computing will eventually work, it's whether NVIDIA's hybrid approach will become the standard way quantum computers are used. If they succeed, they'll have created another multi-trillion dollar market. If they fail, it will be one of the most expensive mistakes in tech history. What's your take on NVIDIA's quantum strategy? Do you think hybrid quantum classical systems are the future or will pure quantum computers eventually dominate? And how do you think this will affect AI development and the broader tech industry? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more breaking analysis of the technologies reshaping our world. This has been Click Future, where your future is a click away.